release of Street Easy's third quarter market report, we've gained a lot of insight about the market's performance over the past three months. Today, we're here to talk with industry-leading mortgage broker, Melissa Cohn, about what these findings mean for local buyers and what they mean for the future of the market. As founder of the Manhattan Mortgage Company, which closed over $1 billion in home loans this year, Melissa has great experience working on the local and national level, and over the years has become an authority on home financing and real estate trends. We're thrilled to have her share her insight with us today. So thank you, Melissa, for, for uh, speaking with us today. We're excited to hear your insight on our third quarter market report. So I wanted to ask you, um, We've seen historically low mortgage rates for the past few, few months. We've seen a busy spring selling season um, and shrinking inventory. Um, year over year, inventory has been declining across all major markets. So, you know, with decreased supply, um, low mortgage rates, you think that um, closing prices would actually be up. But in, in our market report, we're seeing that prices are flat. Um, what do you think, you know, what do you think might account for this? Um, well, I think, for example, in the co-op market, that it's harder to actually get co-op approval. Um, you know, the co-op boards are more demanding. The banks are a little bit more demanding when it comes to financing, so that you know prices are flat because you know it's harder to actually get something sold in a co-op than it is in a condo. In the condo marketplace, you know, we have a lot of foreign investors who come in and pay cash and don't have any of the obstacles of the limitations of the co-ops have. Co-ops, for example, will limit how much financing you can take, will demand that you have a certain amount of money post-closing, um, will limit you to your occupancy or how you take title. Mm -hmm. The condo market, which is a much more open market, you can finance as much as you want, you can buy it as a primary residence, second home, investment property. Um, so you have a lot more flexibility, so I think there's been a lot more interest in the condo market over the course of the past year. And we've also seen a strong influx of foreign investors in the marketplace, and you know, foreign investors generally buy condominiums, and with the flight of money from you know, some countries that are in you know, more economic disarray than we are, you know, people are coming here and, and putting their money into real estate in New York or in, in the United States and feeling that it's a safe place to park their money. Okay, so let me ask you about inventory. You know, the New York market is so seasonal, and traditionally we always expect to see a bump um, post Labor Day. Um, this year we didn't see that bump, and in fact, you know, we've just been seeing month to month, quarter to quarter, this declining inventory. And so I, I guess what I, I want to ask you is what do you think is contributing to our shrinking inventory? Well, I think there's several reasons. One is, first of all, there's very little new condominium construction where much of the increase in inventory over the course of the past few years, or before, let's say, 2008, um, has been all of this new condo construction, mm -hmm. which has not really happened over the course of the past few years. So it's been basically an absorption of the condominiums that had been built and not, not yet been sold. Um, I also think that people are underwater or don't have enough equity in their homes in order to be able to sell without having to write a check and many people mm -hmm. don't want to write a check in today's marketplace so they I think continue to sit it out to wait and see what's going to happen and hope that prices will continue to go up although they've gone up slowly but they are coming back to the 2008 levels especially according to your study um, and lastly I think people are concerned about the economy you know, what's going to happen with the election. So I think there's a lot of wait and see that we're going to have of cor over the course of the next month with the election, you know, so close. And then hopefully we'll see things open up again. Stay tuned as we continue our discussion with Melissa Cohn in our upcoming video about lending requirements.